Hey, what's up everybody? Joe here. Welcome to our course on Android networking. Networking is a vast topic. The word networking includes many types of different connections between computers and mobile devices. You'll hear terms such as TCP IP, UDP, WebSockets, ports, protocols, nodes, and more. For our purposes in this course, we're mainly referring to HTTP connections over TCP IP, and we'll specifically be using those HTTP connections to communicate with REST APIs. We'll define all those terms in more detail in a future video. Most mobile apps act as clients that talk to backend servers to get and store data. There are a large number of considerations when transferring data, such as transfer speeds, data quantity, connectivity, security, data format, and network errors, just to name a few. We'll look at these and other considerations in this course. We'll mainly be focused on how to get data from the network onto the device and how to send data from the device to a backend API. In part one of the course, we'll see how to make HTTP requests in Android apps using the Android SDK. These requests will be relatively low level, although you can go much lower level than we will. Even though we're relying on the Android SDK, the request will be sufficiently painful and repetitive so that in part two, we'll turn to one of the more popular Android networking libraries, Retrofit, to make our HTTP requests. Retrofit removes a lot of the pain of making networking calls from Android apps. In part three, we'll dive even deeper into Retrofit and see how to make the most common types of HTTP requests. By the end of the course, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use Retrofit in your apps and be ready to explore the more advanced features of Retrofit on your own. Let's get started.